Hi, I'm Ruthie and welcome to Ruthie's Toy Box. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to make a sock puppet. Ooh, hello. Some of the steps may require adult supervision, so let's get started. Yay! <laughs> okay, in today's project, you'll need some supplies to make Mr. Curly happen. That's what I named my puppet. Of course, you'll need a sock because it's a sock puppet. I'm gonna make the yarn into hair. You can also have more fun and use reuse bows and stuff that you would get off of presents or buy in the store. I'm using palms, small and large ones for the nose and the eyes, googly eyes to add a little bit of expression and make it fun. You'll need a rubber band. You'll also need a marker and a pencil. This pink foam right here is the kind that you get from the craft store. It's gonna be used for the tongue. Adult supervision time right here is because you'll be needing to get help with scissors and glue. The glue needs to be able to be the kind that dries clear and does not expand. In step one, you'll need your sock, a marker, and your hands. When you slide the sock on, you're going to wanna to know that when you make your puppet, you'll hold your hand like this. And as you can see, this is how the puppet will talk, okay? So let's put the sock on. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put the sock on my left hand. I think it's more comfortable to put the heel and the toe of the sock on the back of my hand. You're probably a much smaller person than me, so that it'll be down your arm, okay? So here's my mouth. See, we've already got it started. You can see the very beginning of it. Now I'm going to get the marker out. We'll figure out where we want the eyes and the hair and the mouth. So I'm gonna put one eye here and an eye here. That's where I'll glue my eyes. I'm gonna give them a little silly nose right there on the front. And I think we should put the hair here. We're gonna put two dots for hair and I'll explain that later, okay? So make sure that you have two dots for the hair. Now we're gonna make a mark for the tongue. I'm just gonna put a little mark there because that's where I will glue it. All right. So, let's take the sock off, and now you are going to start gluing things onto it. Oh, and be careful, I got marker on the table. I hate it when I do that. Okay, so in this next step, we're gonna start with making the hair. All right, so you need your mechanical pencil. You're also going to need a rubber band and scissors. All right, so now we're gonna cut this rubber band just like that. Now this is the part where it might seem strange, but it's the neatest idea. My husband came up with this to make the hair really easy. And I kind of argued with him about it, but it totally worked out great. All right, so I'm gonna use this pencil to poke through the sock. And just like that. So I'm not gonna move the pencil out yet, but you can see that I've poked through right here. So now that I've got the hole large enough, I'm going to push the rubber band through with the pencil, just like that, and pull it out like that. And now I've got the first step for making the hair. All right, so what we'll do in the next part is we are going to make a yarn set of hair. I'm going to hold the end of the string right here and then wrap it around my fingers. You can unwind the yarn ahead of time if you like, about three yards. Really what matters though is as much yarn as you use depends on how much hair you want to have on your puppet. I like mine to have a very full head of hair, so I'm gonna make it really silly and put a lot there. All right, so that's about as much as I wanna do. Now you're gonna have to cut. Remember, anytime we're using glue or scissors, you need adult supervision. Now, I've got the loop of yarn. I'm going to lay it on the rubber band, and then I'm going to tie the rubber band just like that. Pretty tight, because you don't want it to come loose. What I did find out was when I tried to glue the yarn on, it was messy and the hair kept falling off. So. We are going to make a knot like that. And then you don't have to cut the excess, but I'm going to cut the excess off. Remember the hair is gonna hide that little part of the rubber band there. 
Now, adult supervision, if you can't use the scissors yourself, get a grown up to help you. I'm going to cut the yarn. You don't have to be super careful as far as how fast or slow you cut it. What matters is that you just get all of them cut and now you've got awesome, crazy hair. So we're gonna have to come up with a name for this guy. But before we do that, we're gonna glue some eyes on him. So this is whenever the palms come into play. You can use matching ones. You can use not matching ones. You can use a giant one for giant eyes. Let's make this guy have giant eyes. So that's where I'm gonna put them. That's why we put the dots there. As you can tell, it looks way different laying down, not stretched over your hand. This part, you don't have to put a lot of glue, but you don't wanna to be too skimpy with it because you want the eye to stay. The palm should stick well to it. All right, so there are the eye palms. They're on pretty good. Gotta let the glue dry. That's the worst part is the waiting. Next, we're gonna put on his little nose. Let's put the nose on him. Don't wanna close the glue yet because I need to get ready to make the tongue. So this is the craft foam paper. Super soft, easy to work with. Um, you can freehand cutting the tongue. I'm just gonna draw it just for the ease of making sure that I have a pretty decent little pattern to cut. So let me move the yarn out of the way. So you wouldn't worry about the marks showing if you do this, just because you can turn it over and make that the back. As you can see, it's not a perfect little tongue, so you can trim it to make it more round or you could make it a crazy tongue. Heck, you could even make a snake tongue if you wanted. All right, so let me put the scissors away for now. Now I'm gonna use the marker again, and just for making it funny, I'm gonna put a split down the middle so it looks like a fun tongue being stuck out at you. Now we'll use the glue again, and just put a little dab there like that, and then we'll stick the tongue to it and we'll let that dry. All right, so let's turn the puppet over gently because remember the glue is still wet on the tongue and the eyes, okay? So now's the googly eye because I wanna make it fun or you could even go crazy and put a big one and a little one. I think that's what I'm gonna do, just to have fun. Now we'll put a dab of glue on the back of this eye. Remember, Usually I say don't be too generous with it, but you're gonna to wanna to have enough there to the surface of the eye to allow it to stick well to the puff ball. And there you go. Now we've got eyes on there. This children is your new sock puppet friend. I believe we'll call this one Fred, because he is now going to be able to be friends with Curly, my original sock puppet. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have a friend. I can't, can't wait for the glue to dry. I'm so glad everyone came over to play today. I had such a good time. Come back and see Curly sometime, okay? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Oh, well, hi, you talk funny. My name's Curly, what's yours? Oh, I am Fred. I am wondering why you're here. Well, I want to play. Do you like to play? I like to play bridge. Oh, I don't, I don't know that. Does that mean I drive on you? No, I like to play hair. Do you want to play hair? No, what the, no, yes, I want to play with your hair. I love your hair. It's so awesome. Oh, you're so fluffy. Oh, it's going to be such a long day. 
<laughs> Thanks for watching the video with me today. I hope you had fun learning how to make this toy. If you did have fun, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends. Also, if you have any fun and creative project ideas you'd like to see happen, please let me know.